Hi there. As, um, as blood sugar comes up in almost every conversation I have with people, in almost every lecture um, I do from back pain to chronic disease, um, I thought I'd go through a quick roller coaster ride, quite literally, as you'll see in a moment, of, um, of blood sugar and how we look at it um, in clinic and get people uh, to take some action on it and to understand what's happening in their blood sugar. So behind me are two lines. This is the highest amount of blood sugar. That's kind of acceptable. So highest amount of sugar in your blood. And the bottom line is the lowest amount of sugar acceptable in your blood. We'll come to what those numbers are in a, in a few moments. It does vary a little bit from person to person. But here, um, here we're going to go through um, the day quickly. So many people I work with, and I'm not saying this is you, this is just many people I work with, start their day with a cereal-based or a carbohydrate-based breakfast. So they're often starting with porridge, toast, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, that, that kind of thing. Is that a balanced meal? Well, for the majority of people I work with, the majority, some people it's perfect, um, but for the majority of people that I work with, that's not a balanced meal because there's no protein and no fat in it. And therefore, it tends to shoot their blood sugar score up nice and high. We get to track their blood sugar score, and I'll, get, and I'll go into that in just a few moments. So, their blood sugar is hopefully relatively low when they wake up. Then they have a carbohydrate-based breakfast. What is carbohydrate? Well, I've touched on the foods, but carbohydrate is sugar. So it's sugar molecules all all stuck together to make a carbohydrate molecule, okay? So sugar is carbohydrate, carbohydrate is sugar, um, carbohydrate is starch, starch is sugar. For this conversation, those terms can all be just interchangeable. So sugar. So I eat a sugary breakfast. So I've got my uh, porridge, let's say, with um, some brown sugar on it because I like it, and a bit of fruit, I've chopped a banana into it as well. Good on me. So I've got a lot of carbohydrate there and a lot of sugar and maybe my blood goes, my blood sugar goes up like so. Now, once it gets above this line, the body goes, hey, um, this, 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 isn't, this isn't right, this is too high, this is not right. So it will release more insulin, so it release high levels of insulin to bring that blood sugar back down, like so. So the blood sugar is going up, I release the insulin and the insulin grabs hold of the blood sugar. Now I need to do that, otherwise if my blood sugar goes too high, I'll damage my brain, which is what happens or can happen with diabetics, right? If their blood sugar rages out of control, they have cognitive problems, they can't concentrate, they can't focus, um, they can't make memories very easily, they become forgetful because it attacks the brain, primarily the hippocampus. So um, the insulin grabs hold of the um, grabs hold of the sugar in my blood. And if I've done some really good um, training, some working out, um, it'll pack it away back in the muscles to restore the energy balance in the muscles. Or if I've done quite a lot of training, like a long training session, over an hour, hour and a half, two hours, maybe gone for a run or a bike ride or something like that, swim, um, then it'll also um, refuel the stores that are in my liver as well. Okay, because I store quite a lot there. If those areas are full, or I haven't done any, um, any training, then I've got to pack that sugar away somewhere, and it's going to get packed away as fat. So I'm going to convert that sugar those sugar molecules into fat molecules, and I'm going, to, I'm going to pack them away. So here, we've got the possibility of increasing our weight. Now, as blood sugar drops, uh, I continue to produce insulin because I'm over the line. So when blood sugar comes back down, whoosh, like so. Now here, I'm gonna to need to bring it back up. It's gone a little bit too low. So I'm gonna go for a cup of coffee. I'm gonna go for maybe a biscuits, a packet of crisps. I might be being healthy and I go for fruit, um, that kind of thing. And, um, and that will bring my blood sugar back up because all of those things that I've mentioned are, are carbohydrates, right, or sugars. So that might be 9, 30, 10 a.m., 10, 30 a.m. for a lot of people that I work with. The blood sugar then goes back up comes back down and we've got lunch time, then we've got three, four o'clock in the afternoon and then we've got dinner and the process goes on. This process is really stressful. Another word that you hear from me again and again, stress, um, is a really stressful process um, for our body. And over time, over years or decades of it, um, is a high contributor to diabetes, to stroke, to coronary heart disease, to arthritis, all these, pro all these processes of chronic degeneration. 
So it's really important to get control of our blood sugar. Now, you can do this really easily. So um, we get our clients to get a glucometer. They're 15, 20, 25 quid um, in Boots or, or Amazon. And we get them to take um, their blood sugar measurements. We get them to do it upon waking. Let me move out of the way there. Upon waking. So they wake up, they take their blood sugar. We get them to do it before lunch, not after, before lunch, to see how things have uh, panned out over time. Before dinner, so how did lunch affect them? and then before bed. Their blood sugar scores should be between four and 7.9, okay? If you were to take your blood sugar after a meal, you'd do it about 90 minutes after a meal and it shouldn't be above 7.8 if you wanted to take more readings. So then you can build a relationship between the foods that you've eaten, the response that your body um, has to those foods as far as blood sugar is concerned, and then make some decisions about Am I eating too much carbohydrate here? Um, is, that, uh, is, the, is my diet, even though it doesn't taste sweet necessarily, is it too sugary? So this has been a real fast blow through blood sugar. I hope you've gained some information from it. Um, if you have any concerns, let me know. Take um, your blood sugar, if you, if you, <laughs> if you wanna kind of understand it a little bit more. Upon waking, before lunch, before dinner, before bed, Keep a good food diary at the same time and you'll quickly build a picture of what's going uh, on inside you um, as regards to blood sugar. Brilliant, I'll see you guys later.